<laughs> Last time on Leafs Food for Thought, we showcased Santa Monica's Co-Opportunity Grocery Store as a great place to shop and where we get many of our ingredients we use on the show. So today we went back and bought our ingredients for our recipe of the day, grainless meatloaf. We have some Worcestershire sauce, we have green onion, we have some coconut oil, we have some onions, we have eggs, ground beef and ground pork, I like to mix up my meats, we have some ketchup, coconut milk, red bell pepper, celery, garlic, and a plethora of spices that you can check our website and find out about. First things first, let's turn on the stove, 350 degrees, put a stove top on to medium high heat. I have the coconut oil in the saucepan getting ready to go. Now I'm going to add all the vegetables and saute them. We're also going to add the spices and the garlic. Alright, now with our vegetables cooked, we're going to get our meat mixture ready to go. We're going to add the Worcestershire sauce, the eggs, half the ketchup mixture, and the coconut milk. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this with our hands. It's a hot meat love. Now that the vegetables are cooled, we're gonna add it to our meat mixture. Now that our meat mixture is ready, we're gonna get ready to put it in the pan. You can grab some spray on coconut oil. It's awesome, it makes it non-stick. Yeah! Now let's put our meat mixture into the pan. Form our beautiful, oh yes, beautiful. Meatloaf. Now that we got it packed, in the oven it goes. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to leave it in there for about 80 minutes until it's 160 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, I suggest getting one. So I saved a little bit of ketchup that we used in the mix to spread it on the top of the loaf. About 15 minutes before it's done, just to pretty it up a little bit. Now let's set this up for our finished product. Oh man, I think I'm gonna make this my birthday cake next year. 